Hey hockey player, welcome to the youth follow along lower body power and strength workout that's going to help you with your speed and agility out in the ice. Get ready, start taking those last deep breaths right now because we're just about to get into it. Follow Kevin along here. First exercise is alternating split squat jumps. We're going to do three per side. Get as high as you can. This is all about power development here. Three per side, keep it moving. Right after that, you're gonna move into prisoner reverse lunges. Prisoner means hands behind the head. Reverse lunge means you're gonna be lunging with the leg going backwards each and every single time. Five reps per side. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it moving. This strengthens the hamstrings and the glutes which will allow you to be more explosive out in the ice. Once you've finished your five reps per side, you're going to be dropping down and we're going to hit the core, working on flutter kicks. Flutter kicks, you're going to want a diamond position under your lower back. Keep these moving. We're going to do 10 reps per leg. Go fast. Get lots of range of motion with this one. Jump right back up and get into broad jumps. Broad jumps, you're going to be throwing yourself forward just like Kevin's doing here for six total reps. Since we're in a smaller space, you, I want you to go one way, turn around, get back the other way, be as explosive as possible. This exercise helps out with your agility and your top speed out in the ice. Once you've finished all six reps for the broad jump, we're going to move into prisoner forward lunges this time. So now we're stepping forward every single time, alternating our legs, keeping our posture up, keeping our hands behind our head, and doing five reps per side on the lunge. Attacking that lower body because it's very important for your speed, agility, but it's also your foundation to be strong on the puck outside the, uh, out, out in the ice. When you can't be knocked off the puck, that's all about lower body strength. Getting down for the last exercise of this circuit is the plank with elbow to knee touches. 10 per side here, going back and forth, getting that cross body core strength. That's important for any kind of cross body movement, such as the shot, but also your skating speed. This is all cross body oriented and moves through the core, which is why it's in the lower body and which is why it's a part of the lower body workout here. We gotta do the core at the same time. We're gonna rest for 90 seconds, get some water, take some deep breaths, and we're gonna get right back at it. All right, 10 seconds. Get that last drink of water. Start shaking things out, start getting ready. We're doing those alternating split squat jumps in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, three per side. High as you can, stay powerful. This is for that explosive speed and your acceleration out in the ice. Three per side, get right into prisoner reverse lunges. Now we've got the techniques. Now we can be moving and grooving here. We're doing five per side here, nonstop, no rest. This is for speed, but it's also for conditioning. That's why it's in a circuit fashion. We don't want to be stopping here. We want to keep moving. And the next exercise we're going to get into is the flutter kick. Right down to the ground once you're done your lunges, 10 per side, lots of range of motion, keeping the core nice and tight the entire time. We want to trash that core as much as we can to become a better hockey player. Right back up, broad jumps, broad jumps. Let's go, Kevin, let's go, far as you can, nice. Get six total broad jumps in here. Throw your body forward. 
We want to put as much effort as possible into these to get as much power and strength as we can out of this exercise because you're going to see a direct correlation to improving your on ice performance. Once you're done those, you're right into prisoner forward lunges. Going forward loads the quadriceps a little bit more, whereas going backwards in the previous one loads the glutes a little bit more. This one we're doing five reps per side non-stop, always keeping a good posture. Once you've completed all 10 of the lunges total, you're going to get right back down on the ground and do your plank with alternate elbow to knee touching. Right now, if you can't touch all the way, don't worry, just do that motion and you're still going to be training the muscles that are responsible for that crossbody core strength that I was talking about previously. But if you can, definitely touch the elbow and knee every time because that's the full range of motion and that's what's going to get you the most benefits from this exercise. You're doing 10 per side total here. Once you've wrapped that up, we're starting up the rest period, all right? 90 seconds, you better be ready for the last round. All right, it's that time again. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, let's go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Split squat jumps, last round, let's go, let's go. Three per side, as high as you can. Don't lose any power. They should look just like they did in the first round. Prisoner reverse lunge next. Five per side, keep it moving. This is conditioning, we're gonna keep going hard. We're training to become better hockey players. That doesn't always come easy, but that's why we're here. We're going to make this thing happen. Five per side, help improve the strength of our lower body before we jump right back down into the flutter kicks. Ten per side here. Go strong and fast, strong and fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome job. Right back up into the broad jump. Set a fast pace. Let's go, let's go. Get six total reps here. Two, keep going strong. Three, breathe, breathe. Four, five, last one, bar. Nice, all right. Prisoner forward lunges, right into it. Five per side. Keep breathing while you're doing everything. Breathe throughout the entire process. Don't forget, you wanna keep your breath this whole time, but work hard at the exact same time. Five per side, almost there. Once you're done this, we're going to the plank. Plank with elbow to knee touches. It's gonna be 10 per side, and this is the last exercise of your last round. Let's go. Make these as clean as possible. You are done after this. Keep repping these out nonstop, keeping the core tight the whole time. This entire time, you're contracting, you're contracting, you're moving, you're grooving. Let's go, keep it going, keep it going. 10 per side's a tough finish, but you're a tough hockey player. We're gonna get it done. And that is a wrap. Great, great work today. Thanks for watching our youth follow along workout. If you liked that video, smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. And if you're interested in seeing more youth follow along workouts, let us know in the comments section below.